Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, germ busters. Welcome to another episode of Germ Genius with your favorite germ fighting friend, Dr. Clean Hands. Today, we're diving into the tiny world of germs. Ready to zap some germs? Let's get started. Today, we're going to talk all about a little something called germs. Curious? Scared? Well, never fear. We are here to talk about what germs are, how they are spread, and what you can do to stay as healthy as possible. Let's get started. Everyone, meet Susie. Susie has not been able to stop sneezing. Her nose is runny and her eyes are watering. She also has a fever. Can you guess what's wrong? If you said that Susie is sick, you're right. Susie has a cold which comes from a certain type of germ called a virus. But don't worry, with some medicine, soup, and rest, Susie will be feeling much better soon. It's important to understand the reasons why we get sick. So, let's talk about germs. Germs are all around us and are so tiny. The only way you can see one with your eyes is through a microscope. Like other living things, germs can grow and multiply quickly. Some germs can be contagious, which means that they can be spread from person to person, but other germs can actually be helpful to your body and your health. There are four different types of germs. These four types are called bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. We are going to talk about each one starting now. Bacteria love to live on the outside and inside of your body. In fact, they like it so much, they never want to leave. Bacteria are made up of just one cell, which does not seem that huge, but they can still make you sick. These germs can cause things like ear infections, sore throats, pneumonia, and even cavities. Sometimes, if you're sick from an infection caused by bacteria, your doctor may give you an antibiotic, which helps fight the specific kinds of germs. One of the most common antibiotics is called penicillin. Did you know that bacteria can be good too? Good bacteria live in your intestines and help your body get the nutrients it needs from the food you eat. Yogurt is full of good bacteria. This kind of germ is also used to make medicines and vaccines, which help keep your body healthy and safe. It's time for quiz. Good bacteria lives in our intestines. A. True. B. False. Did you select the option A? Yes, you are right. Viruses are germs that need to be inside a living cell or host to survive. Since your body has millions of cells, viruses have lots of possible places to live. Once they get inside a cell, they begin to multiply when the cell multiplies, which is what makes you sick. Examples of viruses include chickenpox, measles, influenza, and coronavirus. Even though viruses can seem scary, there are special kinds of medicines that have been created to help fight or prevent them altogether. These are called vaccines or immunizations, which are usually given to you by your doctor in the form of a shot. Because of vaccines, diseases like measles and chickenpox have become more and more rare. Depending on the virus, you may need more than one vaccine, like a flu shot you get once a year. It's time for another quiz. What do vaccines help with? A. Making you taller. B. Fighting or preventing viruses. C. Improving your eyesight. D. Changing your hair color. Did you select the option B? Yes, you are right. Let's move on. Fungi are like plants and are made up of lots of cells. They can live by feeding off other plants, people, or animals. Fungi like to live in warm and wet places, like in between a person's toes. Ever heard of the word fungus before? Here's an interesting fact. A fungi is one single fungus. Sometimes fungal infections can spread from person to person, or even from plant to plant. Many fungi are pretty harmless though, and will not cause problems for healthy people. Last, but not least, are protozoa. Like bacteria and viruses, 
Protozoa are single-celled organisms, and like fungi, they like to live in wet places. Many protozoa live in the water, which is how they spread disease and infections. Water that is unsafe to drink probably has protozoa living in it. Stomach bugs, diarrhea, and nausea, or feeling like you have to throw up, can all be caused by protozoa. All right, here is the last question. Where do many protozoa live? A. In the air. B. In the water. C. On the moon. D. In fire. Did you select the option? B. Yes, you are absolutely right. Woo, that was a lot of germ talk, and maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed or unsure of what you can do to help stop the spread of germs. Here are some tips to help you stay healthy. Most all types of germs can be spread through the air when a person sneezes, coughs, or breathes. They can also be spread by touching things or other people, like a high five or a handshake, which is why hand washing is super important for at least 20 seconds. Make sure you rub both the front and backs of your hands in between your fingers and under your fingernails and around your wrists. Try singing or humming the happy birthday song while you're washing your hands. This will help you make sure you do it for 20 seconds. Today, we explored the fascinating world of germs. We learned about bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa, and how they can affect our health. We also learned some awesome tips on how to stay healthy and stop the spread of germs. And remember, this fantastic germ journey was brought to you by Goli, the best kid's tablet. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.